Howdy, this is Michael Good from Rebatrades.com. This is your daily trade recap. Not so good a day today as yesterday. Uh, you see some nice profit on MSCH. That does not exist. I had a small loss on that. We'll take a look at the chart here and I'll show you why. So I got short starting here in the pre market and then right at 270, right as it opened. And the unfortunate thing is I bought, I boxed the position in my Sogo account uh, to get net neutral at 280. And then it, it was all downhill from there after that short spike. So I only got uh, 1,200 shares short around 260 or so, right around here. And then I covered them. And then, of course, I had to get out of my boxed position, which, you know, there's some serious slippage in commissions there. So I lost the, like 250 bucks today, which is very unpleasant. But uh, you mess up sometimes. And uh, frankly, MSEH, it's not traded at all like uh, NXTH did and uh, has been choppy and unexpected. So well, I'll give myself a break after trading it uh, well yesterday. My only other trade, uh, well, not my only other trade, but SMCE, very nice. I sold right at the open, 164, about 163. Held it overnight. My buys yesterday weren't that great, around 145 average. I should have been able to get under 140, but still, nice gain. And this closed around one today. So I, I, I said in my watch list last night, you know, Alps always look for shares to short, because I knew that this could be a nice dropper after uh, the pump ended. and. It was, but there weren't any shares that I saw, so I missed out on that. Otherwise, it, I probably uh, would have looked at playing it right as it broke below, went green to red right here, and from there it was just an easy short. So one trade uh, in my new uh, Speed Trader account, a half hour before the close. I bought P back at 62 cents. If you look at the multi-day chart, it's sort of interesting. So, worth a shot. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably be selling it near the open tomorrow, and it probably won't do much. So, one nice thing is I'm now out of my uh, drawdown in my buying pump strategy. Uh, if you remember, I lost like $6,500 on WTKN in January. Before that, I'd made $1,200. So now I'm up $1,400 for the year after playing SMCE. And I'm finally out of that drawdown. So that feels good. So hopefully my performance can also improve, not just because I've learned, I'm have learned, i learning it and understanding it better, but also because hopefully I can get better fills on these crappy uh, OTC stocks with SpeedTrader. I'll let you know how that goes. Until next time, ta-ta.